Hello, this is Rocket Man Dan, and today we're going to be building a space station. But first, I think we should upgrade the launch pad, just so we've got no more limitations. There we go. Now let's pop into the VAB and have a look at this. I'm just going to be building a standard space station, nothing too special about it. I like to have a little play about with it, see what works best, using these radial attachment points here. I like to add a couple of different types of docking ports, the uh, Clampatrons and the Clampatron Juniors. I also like to make sure my solar panels are quite a bit away just so they don't get bumped into by any docking ships. Also you notice quite a lot of batteries on there. You need quite a lot of batteries if you're going to be doing science research with the science pod there. I'm just giving us a little, uh, little bit of fuel as well, in case we want to higher the orbit or make it a little bit lower or deorbit it even. And you can probably see I'm adding quite a lot of lights as well. I don't know why, I just I really like things to shine bright. And I suppose I've also got to sort out the engines also, because I don't think this fairing is going to fit over it. So I think I decided to take these off and just add a poodle there. Yeah, that's better. Now time to add the uh, main thing, get us into orbit. I like to add quite a lot of fuel to these because obviously without the delta V calculator, you're just never too sure. So it's always nice to have a little bit too much. Also auto strut the heck out of everything. And uh, make sure you've got a scientist in that science bay, otherwise you're not going to be able to do much science. Let's get this into orbit, just standard orbit, tilt over, try and get it to 45 degrees by the time you hit 10,000. Keep on going, watch that fuel level, and just bust it out there. There we go. I like to try and get up to about 100,000 when I do a space station. There we go. Pop that fair enough now. Turn those lights on, shine it bright, and pop the solar panels out. I like this particular design with that cupola model right at the top. I like to add that little hitchhiker storage can as well for just for a little bit of realism really just just so they've got somewhere to stay when they're not wanting to work. Obviously just going to mess around with the manoeuvre nodes now and try and get into orbit. There we go. We're orbital but I don't think I was very happy with the uh, with the orbit. I like it to be exactly a hundred thousand. Well, in that marker anyway. So I just spent a little bit of time just messing around. There we go. Fully in orbit now. Got rid of that uh, ascent stage. Lock this over to normal there. And I've sent Val on a mission to uh, to Minmus. So she can collect a little bit of science for us. Oh, hang on, there we are, we're inside now. It's a nice view from in here. A few little pictures lying about in there. And we've got a good view of Kerbin as well, I believe. Oh yeah, there we go. I love these cupola models. These uh, pods at the top there. Let's see if Val's on her way now, shall we? There she is, just coming in nice and gentle. And I'm just going to select one of these docking ports and press control from here. And that means that's the control point obviously. And now we can we've set Val as target and we just hit tag and it'll turn us right on over to her. Obviously she's coming in. There we go. Nice little docking maneuver there. Oh, Perfect, yeah. And now we're just going to do an EVA with Val. There we go. Get a, get her to collect this science out of this uh, science containment unit here. I'm just going to EVA on over to the science pod in the middle there. Beautiful. There we go. Now Val's inside there. 
Jeb can steal her ride and head off home soon. Let's just have a see. Yeah, we're going to press review data. And in the middle now, we've got a new tab. And that's to research the data. So just click on that for all of them. And we'll start the research on that. There we go. Let's. Uh, yeah, we'll be getting just over three science a day. We've got 447 data. So that'll take quite a while. We'll just press start research there. And slowly pumping up the research. There we go. Let's see if we can. Uh, and get Jeb in his little capsule now. Transfer him over to there. Undock him as well. Put Val in the command seat. There we go. Let's just flip him round. And just move him away. That's it. He can be on another mission for later. Pop into the tracking station. And I've just fast forwarded time by about a hundred days or so just to show you the gains of having this science model this module sorry <laughs> yep we've got full electricity so I so, say yeah we've got 300 what's that 48 science oh that's great now I'm just going to um, level up the crew as well because Val's been to Minmus she can be leveled up now you'll see it there there we go, see she's got more manoeuvres to hold to now. Going to stop that research. So we're going to transmit it now. And that takes quite a bit of battery. It won't take it all, but if you don't want it to be cut short, stop research and then press transmit. Just iron over my electricity tab there. Transmit that data. Doesn't take too long. Especially not if you've got the right amount of battery. There we go, and that science has all been added to the KSC. Beautiful. Now we can start the research again and leave Val and a scientist up there. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to like, share, subscribe, maybe leave me a comment, that would be great. See you next time. Bye bye.